Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> Have they made any progress on the Infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> when the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in three minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
light approach. Gets them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Authorization? God, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Excuse me, you can't wait in here. Gray, seventh floor, room 43. So far, so good. first.
He's too far away. Bring him here, Aiden. Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I changed my mind! I want her baby! So take her quickly! Please! Get the baby oh, out of here!
She Let may develop some her. special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my fault. see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Sorry, Jody.
powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. <laughs> Jody, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. I had to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infra-world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this.